Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 22. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and download the workbook Excel, YouTubers Love Excel number 22 to 26. Hey, trick number 22, we're going to talk about invoice terms. Here's the setup. The terms say, if the invoice date is before the 20th, here we have the 19th, which is before the 20th, and here's the 20th thereafter. If it's before the 20th, the due date is 10 days after the end of this month. Otherwise, it's 10 days after the end of next month. Man, how do we do that? Our goal here is to just put one formula that will calculate our due date no matter what the day is here. Now, let's start off, let's say equals if open parentheses. Now, a logical test has to be looking at the invoice date and seeing whether the day there is less than 20. Well, we're going to use the day function, D-A-Y, open parentheses. When we click on a serial number, which is uh, the number of days since Jan uh, December 31st, 1899, it knows. So in this case, this day of this cell with this date will evaluate to 19. Close parentheses. Now our test is going to be less than, and we're going to click in this cell up here. Here's uh, the day test. So we're going to click on that cell and hit F4. Boop, boop. Twice, because we want to lock it when we're copying this formula down. <coughs> that test will always t check invoice invoice date and compare it to this 20. That's the test. And then comma. Now the value if true, here it is, 10 days after the end of this month. Well, first, we need a function to calculate the end of this month and then add 10. Now here's the deal. The end of this month, this is January, so it's the 31st. But look at when we copy this formula down and get to 120, 2008. No way, that's leap year. So this is going to, we're going to have to calculate the end of next month, which is February 29th, and then add 10. Luckily, there's a function called end of month, E-O-M, end of month. Now, in 2007, it's built in. In 2003 and earlier, you have to go to the Tools menu, Add Ins, and check the Analysis Tool Pack. Uh, checkbox and then add this function in. Now here's how end of the month works. Start date, then simply going to be this. And then comma, and it needs to know what month you want to calculate the end of the month. If you type a zero here, that's for this month. If you were to type negative one, it would calculate it for last month. If you type a one, it calculates the end of the month next month. So we're going to put zero because we need to calculate um, this test is set up if it's less than 20. Well, we need the end of this month, which that zero does, plus, and then we need to click on our net days to add. And I have to hit my F4 key once and twice. Lock it going down. Now we type a comma. We got what to do if the invoice is before the 20th. Now this is what to do if the invoice is the 20th or after. E-O-M end of month, we click on this date, and instead of comma zero, we want comma one. That'll give us the end of next month, which, by the way, will be February 29th. Close parentheses, plus, and we need to add our 10, locked going down, F4 twice. And that's it. That beautiful formula will calculate our terms. Control Enter. Oops, Excel is talking to me. I'm going to copy this down. And no way, it worked. Now, I want to click in this cell. And I, this is such a cool formula. We want to look at Formula Evaluator. In 2007, you go to Formulas, Formula Auditing, Evaluate Formula. In 2003, you go to the Tools menu, and then Formula Auditing, Evaluate Formula. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut, Alt. T-U-F. That's Alt-Tough. And by the way, if you're doing a lot of complicated formulas, Formula Evaluator is your savior. Not only can you find your errors, but you can actually look through people's other people's complicated formulas and figure out the logic. Now here it, here it goes. It's looking at day first. So I click Evaluate. Evaluate. Oh, look, it's the 20th. And this is the 20th. Then it's going to compare it to 20. Is it less than 20? No, that's false. Now it's going to jump to the false part, and it needs to calculate end of month, which is a serial number. So it'll add 10. Sure enough, and that NA means the uh, true was not available. Click Evaluate. Click Evaluate. 
And there it is, 3-10-2008. All right, that's how to do some uh, invoicing terms with if, day, and end of month. All right, see you next, YouTubers. Love Excel.